The Kola Super Deep Borehole in Russia, found on the Kola Peninsula, is a remarkable symbol of humans' curiosity and scientific exploration. It reaches an impressive depth of 7.5 miles, 12 kilometers, making it the deepest hole ever dug on Earth. This ambitious project had the goal of advancing drilling technology and uncovering the mysteries concealed beneath our planet's surface. The exploration of the Kola Super Deep Borehole resulted in fascinating findings that transformed our knowledge of Earth's geology, its ancient past, and the potential existence of life beyond what we see on the surface. The Ambitious Drilling Project in the Kola Peninsula The Kola Super Deep Borehole is an impressive scientific achievement, reaching a depth of 12,262 meters and holding the record as the deepest well on Earth. Scientists aim to uncover the secrets hidden within ancient rocks, choosing the Baltic Shield near the Kola Peninsula for its abundance of 3 billion-year-old igneous rocks. This geological treasure trove offered a rare glimpse into the origins of our planet, which is estimated to be around 4.5 billion years old. Drilling began on May 24, 1970, and after four years of determined effort, a depth of 7,263 meters was reached. Initially, a serial processing unit used in oil and gas recovery was employed, followed by an advanced turbine drilling rig where only the drill head rotated. This rig, 46 meters long with a 214 millimeter diameter drilling head, featured a unique ring-shaped design that captured untouched rock cores measuring 60 millimeters in diameter. Specially designed lightweight alloy pipes were crucial to support the 200 ton drill string immersed in the well. The Kola Peninsula became a bustling center of scientific exploration, with a towering 20-story superstructure housing over 3,000 workers, including geologists and specialists. They expertly operated the colossal drilling machinery and possessed a deep knowledge of what lay beneath the surface. Located six miles away from the nearest village, these dedicated workers embraced the rhythm of nature, beginning their operations when daylight gave way to darkness and the symphony of drilling echoed through the vast terrain. The Extraordinary Journey of the Kola Superdeep Borehole The Kola Superdeep Borehole project experienced remarkable success initially, with the drill surpassing a distance of seven miles, marking a significant scientific achievement comparable to landing a man on the moon. However, along with this triumph came the emergence of chilling rumors and legends surrounding the project. Some speculated that drilling the hole would unleash demons from hell, amplifying fears when work was briefly halted in 1983. According to legends, despite the expected ground temperature of 392 degrees Fahrenheit, the recorded temperature at the end of the drill soared to over 1,500 degrees. It was even rumored that a microphone attached to the drill captured the agonizing screams of tormented souls from the depths of Hades. These bone-chilling sounds unnerved observers on the surface, instilling deep fear and anxiety throughout the rig. Work abruptly ceased, leaving an unsettling atmosphere. However, it is crucial to note that these accounts exist as part of the story surrounding the borehole. Listen to a recording claimed to originate from the Kola borehole, captured by a microphone lowered into the depths. Initially, many dismissed these rumors and drilling operations resumed. However, in 1992, the Kola borehole drilling came to a permanent halt. At its deepest point, the temperature at the bottom of the well reached 350 degrees Fahrenheit, significantly exceeding the anticipated maximum of 200 degrees. Even project head David Guberman was unable to explain the unexpectedly high temperature. Consequently, authorities made the difficult decision to discontinue operations, deeming it unsafe to continue. The truth behind the legends of the Kola Superdeep Borehole Academician David Guberman, the director of the Kola Superdeep Research and Production Center, shed light on the mysterious stories surrounding the borehole in an interview with UNESCO. Expressing a blend of skepticism and scientific integrity, Guberman addressed the claims. On the one hand, it's complete BS. On the other hand, as an honest scientist, I couldn't say that I know exactly what happened here. A very strange noise was recorded, followed by an explosion a few days later. Nothing of the kind was found at the same depth. Despite the debunking, Guberman continues to perpetrate the myths and legends surrounding the borehole, 
leading tourists on an entertaining journey through tales of foolish scientists who unleashed ghosts and demons from the underworld. While this captivating tour helps Guberman financially, it deviates from the actual events that transpired. Interestingly, the story about the borehole opening a portal to hell originated as an April Fool's joke by Finnish journalists. However, the tale lost its humorous intent in translation and was mistakenly published as fact by American newspapers, spreading the story worldwide. Consequently, the Kola Super Deep borehole became renowned as a haunted mine in the public imagination. Nevertheless, the truth of what occurred at Kola and the remarkable achievements of the scientists involved surpass any myth or legend. This pioneering endeavor involved venturing into uncharted depths, battling immense pressure, scorching temperatures, and formidable rock formations. Undeterred, the geologists persisted in their quest to delve deeper into the Earth's crust than ever before. By 1979, they had shattered the world record previously held by the Bertha Rogers Hole in the USA surpassing the 10,000-meter mark. By 1983, the drill had exceeded 7.45 miles, a cause for celebration. The success of the project was announced by Moscow, attracting scientists and dignitaries from around the globe. These esteemed guests flocked to the Kola Peninsula to witness the awe-inspiring rig firsthand and study rock samples extracted from unprecedented depths. These rocks, shaped by powerful geological forces, had never been seen by human eyes before, making them a captivating subject of study. Discoveries and Surprises of the Kola Super Deep Borehole The decision to halt operations at the Kola Super Deep Borehole for a year, allowing extensive studies to take place, proved to be ill-fated. When drilling resumed in 1984, disaster loomed on the horizon. A three-mile-long drill string, a crucial hollow tube responsible for lubricating and facilitating the drill's functionality, twisted off and became lodged in the hole. In an instant, five years worth of progress vanished. The only recourse was to recommence drilling from a higher point in the borehole. Determined operators resumed their work, initiating a parallel hole starting at a depth of 4.3 miles. It was a laborious endeavor spanning several years. But in 1989, they triumphantly surpassed the seven-mile mark once again. Now. With the borehole measuring 7.62 miles at its maximum depth, Kola has transformed into a remarkable time machine. By delving so profoundly into the Earth's subsurface, the drill and the hole themselves became conduits of information, shedding light on the conditions that prevailed billions of years ago, our planet's primordial past and its formation. As scientists scrutinized the data gleaned from Kola, a surprising revelation emerged. Our understanding of geology was flawed. The prevailing models were accurate up to a depth of 4.3 miles, but deviations appeared thereafter. Guberman expounded upon this, explaining that the anticipated transition from granite to basalt did not occur as expected. Instead, it transpired in reverse, with seismic waves being generated by metamorphic transitions within the granite rock itself. Moreover, an unanticipated finding awaited them within the rocks, abundant water. The presence of water at such depths defied expectations, as there seemed to be no viable pathway for surface water to infiltrate to such profound levels. Rather, the water originated deep within crustal minerals, having resided there for billions of years, ensnared beneath an impenetrable layer of rock. The age of the rocks and the depths of the borehole were subsequently confirmed to be approximately 2.8 billion years. Remarkably, 3.7 miles below the surface, embedded within these rocks, scientists discovered the fossils of plankton, affording them greater certainty regarding the emergence of life on Earth. From within the borehole, an astonishing revelation surfaced. An outpouring of copious amounts of hydrogen, its source shrouded in mystery. Witnesses observed mud escaping from the top of the borehole, describing it as boiling with hydrogen. Below the 5.6-mile mark, a realm of unimaginable treasures awaited. Diamonds immaculately preserved within the Earth's crust, as if nature had meticulously nurtured them, awaiting their discovery. It is even plausible that thick seams of gold lie concealed in those depths. The geologists harbored a profound curiosity about lunar rock, and intriguingly, 
Some of these geologists were former members of the Kola Project. To their astonishment, they noticed an uncanny resemblance between the composition of moon rocks and the rocks found 1.86 miles below the Earth's surface. This alignment lends credence to a widely accepted theory regarding the origin of the moon. The Mysteries of the Kola Super Deep Borehole The prevailing belief among scientists is that billions of years ago, during the early stages of Earth's development, a cataclysmic event occurred. An asteroid or a celestial body collided with our planet with such force that a portion broke away, eventually forming the moon. Over eons, both Earth and its newfound companion regained their spherical shapes. Could it be possible that the fragment of Earth that contributed to the moon's formation originated from the very region of the Kola Peninsula? This intriguing possibility could explain the striking similarities in rock formations. Now, why was the decision made to cease operations at the Kola Super Deep Borehole? While the temperature issue loomed large, one might wonder if alternative drilling approaches or new boreholes could have been attempted. However, the reasoning behind the closure became apparent when considering the accomplished scientific objectives. The Kola Project, from its inception, aimed to push the boundaries of drilling technology and test its capabilities in extreme conditions. With these goals successfully met, the project had significantly advanced drilling capabilities. Furthermore, there were no unexplored rock formations to gather. Geologists meticulously collected, cataloged, and safely preserved everything of interest. Kola's extensive investigations have enriched our understanding of our planet's origin and the extraordinary events it has undergone over its vast existence. With these profound insights now attained, fresh funding for further exploration at Kola became elusive, leading to the eventual departure of the dedicated staff. Today, the edifice that once housed the awe-inspiring drill stands as a testament to curiosity, a solitary structure amidst the remote expanse. Its grandeur and legacy persist in near mythical tales, yet it remains dormant, devoid of purpose. Occasionally, one may still encounter David Guberman, leading groups of visitors to the site he once called his workplace. Perhaps Guberman's sentiment best encapsulates the prevailing feeling. He firmly believes that the work of the Kola Super Deep Borehole ended prematurely, leaving undiscovered secrets waiting to be unveiled. In his own words, he asserts, We have the deepest hole in the world, so we should use it. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and share the video.